Ah, oh, welcome back. Let's get a moon. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Philly Scrub, Super Mario Odyssey. You know the drill. I completely lost track of my words. So there are 25 moons, but there's not. There's actually more because we gotta go to there. So I think if I just warp, this is probably the quickest way. I'm just gonna do this real quick. This will also confirm my theory, because this is the first kingdom that I know for a fact Cap people appear in. So this will confirm my theory as to whether or not Cap people only appear after you. Really? They do. They do. They only appear- well, no, that might be an extra move. Hold on. Hold on. That might be a bonus one. Let's see. Let's just see really quick. Is it a bonus moon or not? Uh, I think it is. I think it is a bonus moon. That sucks. So I have to go back to Cap Kingdom? No, it is a bonus- okay. Hallelujah. They do appear. Excellent. I heard there was a real caveman around here. Yeah, I'll, we'll get there, bud. We'll get there. Don't worry. Okay, sweet. So we can go... Um, we can do that later. So yeah, this is a triple jumping tutorial, but you don't really need to, because if you know how to move in this game, triple jumps are helpful, but not super duper helpful. Um, but yeah, it's Cascade Kingdom. I really like Cascade Kingdom. I actually... This was the first kingdom I think I 100%ed. No, it was probably Cap Kingdom. Because the first two are relatively easy to 100%, obviously, because they're the first two. But I really like this kingdom. The music is beautiful, the power-ups are fun. The, uh, the whole... Just the whole aesthetic is great. Let's get this moon really quick. Nope, let's not get that moon. Okay, well, how many do we got? We got 40, so this should be another two-episode kingdom, I would guess. I say another like any other kingdom so far was two episodes. I don't think any of them have been, um, but this one probably will be, because it's relatively short, everything's pretty easy to find, nothing's super duper hidden. The purple coins are probably the biggest problem I'm going to have, but even those won't be that big of a deal. So... Oh gosh, I almost died. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I like the Cascade Kingdom, the fossil theme that it's got going on. Pretty fun. This is gonna sound really weird and like out of the blue, but there was a show that my brother used to watch when he was a little kid, and I kind of watched it too because I was still young-ish. Um, we would mostly just watch it with him. It was called Harry and His Bucket Full of Dinosaurs. I don't know if y'all ever saw that show, that show was lit. Um, it was a show about like this kid who had this, these toy dinosaurs, but of course, since it's a children's show, they all talk, and if he if he jumps into the bucket, he enters Dino World, or whatever he called it. I think it was called Dino World. Um, there was like a main cast of like six dinosaurs, and they were all like the generic kind of dinosaurs. You know, there was like the long neck and the, the Stegosaurus, Triceratops. Actually, was there a Triceratops? There might not have been a Triceratops. I don't remember. There's a pterodactyl, I know that much. Point is, it was a show that we used to watch a lot, and I died again. It's fine, we're close enough to the beginning, I'll just do it again, I just won't die again, I promise. Um, it was a show we used to watch all the time, and he loved it to the point that he got his own bucket full of dinosaurs, and like, these things were lit, man, let me tell you, there was like 16, I think, dinosaurs that we had. And all of them had names and personalities, some of them were based off the show, but, like, most of the personalities and names were original, and, like, I'm- okay. I just won't die again, I promise. Okay, we- we made it. We made it up here. Wait. Oh, gosh, okay. We made it up here. Cool. But, yeah, all the dinosaurs were wholly original and had personalities and were- they were great. It was really fun, like, we would- because when my brother was young- oh, that was weird, Mario. My brother and I are close enough in age that it wasn't weird for us to, like, to play with toys together when we were younger. And let me tell you, man, we were very creative children. We had intensive lores surrounding all these toys. And, like, their characters, their personalities. Like, it was, it was good stuff, man. Let me tell you, it was good stuff. But yeah, Cascade Kingdom reminds me of that a little bit. Of that show. Just because the dino world kind of looked like that, where it was very, like... Very like grassland jungly and like it's cool. It was a fun it was a fun time. 
I don't know why it popped into my head. Well, I do know why, because I'm playing with dinos here, but... Ooh, Bumble just sent me a notification saying I could meet- oh, I did not ask you to do that, Mario. <laughs> they just sent me a notification that I could enter their contest for a chance to win Meg to meet Megan Trainer in LA. Wow, my favorite artist. He says wholly sarcastically because he actually not stand Megan Trainer. Well, I guess we're going in this door. Um Like Megan Trainer's music is alright, don't get me wrong. I'm firmly on team, I don't care what kind of person you are, if you're if you're uh if your product is good, I'll buy it, you know? Like, I don't know. Uh, d it depends. It depends on how bad of a person you are. Like, if you're like a music artist who's like, clearly like beating his wife or like, you know, doing something awful, like, yeah, that I'm a little bit more hesitant to want to support you. But like, I don't know. If I just don't agree with some of your politics or your ideals or whatever, and you're, like, not a terrible human being, I'll still buy your stuff. Like, Megan Trainer, I don't like her. I don't like her mentality. I think she's a narcissistic, annoying person. But her music's good, so I'll listen to it, you know? Like, I'm not... I just feel like people get too petty about that kind of stuff, you know? They're like, well, I disagree with what this person says, so therefore I can't like their, their stuff. I can't listen to them. I can't support them as an artist. And I'm like, well, you don't have to, but, like... I don't know. Oh gosh, don't jump off the edge. I thought I thought I was the shell, so I jumped too early. And I think this is faster, sorry Mario. You know that wasn't faster. Now that I think about it, that was actually quite slower. Cause now I gotta go through this whole first section again, but it's fine. Sometimes Mario just really needs to know that I I need him to die, you know? Like sometimes he just needs to know that. Who's really in charge here? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, and then there's another moon on this part. I don't know if there's purple coins too. There might be purple coins here. I think there are purple coins actually. I think I have to go past the moon to get the purple coins. Yeah, because I think if you go past them, then you come out here, and there's purple coins! Four of them, in fact. Go figure. And then we get the moon. Cool. And I think this is going to make the first moon that doesn't show up. No! There's still another row of moons. That is insane to me. Or maybe after this one, they start doing the dot dot dot. I don't know. We're, we're hitting the point where we have so many moons that it's not going to show up on the screen anymore. And I'm sorry to those of you that it annoys, but to me I find it really amusing. And I think it will be worth it for the episode when we finally put all these moons in the Odyssey. So I'm sorry if this bothers you, that we just have a giant stack of moons sitting here in our inventory, but... I'm having fun with it, so... Yeah. Plus, how many Odyssey playthroughs are you going to see where they don't put moons in the Odyssey? Like, not too many. Oh, Peach is up here, that's right. Okay, let's get these. I think I already got the other one on the other side of the wall. I'm just going to assume I did, because it's kind of... If I do this the main story way, then yeah, it happens, you know? I just do it. Hello, Peach, how are you? I like this outfit. I think this one's cute. I like all of her outfits. This is just the Peach Outfit Review. What's it called? The, uh... The Fashion Review? What is it that Grace Helbig does? Um, this one's alright. It's kinda nice. I like the, um... I like the hat. I think it's nice. The belt's nice. It's not really where your waist is, but I don't really understand what it's fashion as it is. But yeah, it's nice. It's very, very, very cute. Very cute. This one is kind of annoying, so I'm gonna hope to get it early on. Oh my gosh. There you go. Come over here. Come over here, Chompy. Oh! Oh, so close. You have to you have to get I think you have to line this up just right so that he hits him into this one. Actually, yeah, come over here. Oh goodness, okay. So we're going to wait right here, because there's a moon in there. Oh, 
Ah, dang it. It's so hard to line up. Like, this one's so hard to line up. You gotta get him. He's right here. Come at me, Chompy. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Did I get it? I just wildly lined that up. Goodness, stop. Stop with this. I need you to come over here, Chompy. Oh, goodness. Okay. Maybe I have to do it the other way around? I'm pretty sure I have to hit that guy in this, though. Let's try it the other way around. That might be easier. Wait, maybe this is how I do it. No, that's not it. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. There it is. That's the way to do it. Oh, boy, that only took, like, two minutes. <laughs> I wonder. I can't make that jump. I don't know why I thought I could. That was a dumb thing to ask myself. Um, I was about to say, can I make that jump? No, of course you can't, Matt. It's giant. Uh, but we can. We already did all this. We can fix our mistake and get the thing on the- well, let's get the thing on the nose first, and then we'll get the thing on the bridge. And by thing, I mean moon, of course, but... Go! Cappy! Oh, goodness. <laughs> did not want to fall- <laughs> do not want to fall off here. That would be very annoying. Don't fall. Okay, got it. I was off-key again, but it's fine. Then we'll go get this one. Okay, got that one. Did I get this one my first time through? I think I did. Did I, did I grab the big chomp? I don't know if I did. I need to do that. I think I got this one, because I think this ended up being my fifth one instead of the one that I usually get in speedruns. Yeah, I did, okay. It's been a long time since I edited the Cascade Kingdom episode. Luckily, the, I mean, that was the first episode, so... Luckily, there's not... I didn't do anything in that place, so there's not much that I missed, but... I mean, there's not much that I got. So, it's not like I'm really, like, confused as to what I already got, because I know I didn't get it. I know exactly what I got. It's just the purple coins that I'm not sure of. This part's fun. I actually really like this part. This was the first of these little hidden pipes I think I ran into on my first playthrough. And this is where my friend told me that every single one of these extra rooms, hidden rooms, usually has two moons in it. Which is very helpful advice if you can interpret it correctly, right? Because... Because every... <clears throat> not every pipe has two moons. But every sub-level does. So, like, this is considered kind of a sub level -y area. So this one has two moons. But the pipes themselves don't always necessarily have two. And they're a little bit inconsistent about which ones do, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to tell which areas are gonna have two and which areas are gonna have one. Um... So, yeah, let's see if I can nail this first try. Oh, I was close, I was close. I've been doing really good, though. I've been doing really good. I haven't messed up too many of the shots. Nope, too far to the right? No, that one. That's the one. There it is. Look at that. I've gotten pretty good with the chain chomp trajectories, which, try saying that five times fast. Um... Are there any purple coins? I don't think there's any purple coins in here, right? Yeah, no. I can double check. I should double check just to be safe. But I'm pretty sure there's none. Pretty sure there's no purple coins here. But I'll double check really quick. Because if you didn't know, you can do this if you go back in. Awesome. Awesome. That just means there's nothing left to do. Sometimes he'll tell you there's purple coins that you missed, or moons that you missed, and then you just go get them. But, uh, I didn't miss them because I'm a good at this game. Um... Okay, so what are we at? We're at 19 out of 40. 
All right, we'll get a few more. We'll probably actually finish this in less than two episodes, honestly, because there's really not a ton to do in this kingdom. I can also get Lake Kingdom Hint Art, and I want to do that. I don't want to forget about that, because that one is a little bit annoying. But let's do our dino stuff first. There's lots of stuff we got to break with the dino. And there's lots of... Areas to go to that you need Dino Friend for. Pretty sure I need to break this over here as Dino. Pretty sure that has a hidden part in it that can move under there, and I think that's all I need, so bye bye! <laughs> yes, I did just Yoshi the dinosaur. What are you gonna do about it? There's a moon in here. Yup, there's one right there. There's one up here, I believe. I think I'm looking for a Sphinx, right? That's a hat. The Sphinx is over here. I lost it because my freaking motion controls, baby. Motion controls are so fun. Except they're not. There he is. There he is. That's the one. Hello, Mr. Sphinx. Now we wait for ten years for this to come down. I will be, uh, I will be taking a sip of water. Please don't mind me. I've been doing that throughout the episode, in case you couldn't tell, um, by all the extended pauses in me talking. I See, I don't want to do this yet, because I already broke the thing that I need for, for another moon up by the dino, so I'm going to go get that one up by the dino first, then we'll come back and go to the shop, and do the race, and go under this bridge, and do all sorts of stuff. Well, I guess we're going under the bridge now, because Mario said so. So here we go. Um, okay, got that. Like, this kingdom is pretty liberal with where it hides the moons, just because there's so... There's so, like, little space to hide them, that it's not too hard to find them, honestly. And it's the first kingdom, it shouldn't be that hard, you know? Let's get this one really quick. And then we can go back and get the dinosaur. Like, I just got like five moons in like a 30 second span. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good. It's a good thing. I can do this timer challenge too while I'm here, actually. Oh, don't die. Don't die, Mario. Don't you fall off that bridge. Got the moon. Cool. Timer challenge one. I think there's only two, and I think I did them both already. So. Don't fall off the waterfall. Please, Mario. Please, work with me. Okay, there's a bunny around here that I'm pretty sure I need to catch. I have this moon up here that I need to get. I think I can just do this for right. Yeah, cool, cool. Got that moon. I'm just plowing through this, man. I'm so good at this. Oh my goodness. Look at how good I am at this game, guys. Oh my goodness. I like this fly. Why did the cap dive not work? I don't understand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Although I did learn you can't cap dive after a wall jump. I might have already said that in this episode. Or you, you can cap dive, you just can't cap jump after a wall jump, which I didn't know. Because I was always trying to do like crazy like cap jump maneuvers that I couldn't do apparently. But now I know, under the ground, wow, what a unique name for a moon. I forgot to do the thing. Hold on, hold on. I forgot the uh, the whole reason that I went over there in the first place. Ooh, that was close. I was pushing my luck on that one. I don't know what the fastest way to move through water is, but I really want to figure it out, because I kind of hate water in this game. It's not bad. Like, it's not bad water physics, it's just slow. Okay, 31. I almost forgot about this little guy right here. Should be right here. Yeah, there it is. Lake Kingdom! 
Boom! It's gonna be a long time before we're back in that kingdom, probably. Actually, let's do the race. We're here. Let's do it. The races, I guess, would be the, the way to say it. This one's relatively easy. You can cheese this one pretty darn good. And, uh, we're gonna, don't you worry. We're gonna cheese it real good. It's not even cheesing, honestly. Like, it's the route it wants you to take. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do it that I don't do, but, like, because it's the first one, they want to teach you to, like, keep your eye out for, like, special places you could go, and just be aware that there may be other routes that you're not, you know, thinking of right off the bat. So, like this one, they want you to be like, oh, look at these things, I can use these to get over there. I don't even need those. 28, 98, that's really bad. Like, I'm pretty sure people do this in under 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure. I'll check, I'll check the record, because I'm actually curious about this one. I'm curious about this one, how fast people do it, and if I can keep up with them. What do we got? What's the record here? Yeah, let's let's connect to the network. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I am number 92,489. Dope. What's first place? Yep. Five seconds. The odd one is out has a record on this? No way. That's super cool. My, uh, one of my good friends here is, like, childhood friends with the odd one is out, and so she'll talk about him all the time. Like, she's, um... Yeah, she's, uh... She knows him really well. I forget what his name is, but she calls him by his name a lot. Well, he's number two in the world, so congrats to him. And, uh, Priscilla says hi. Oh, goodness, give me this guy. Yes. How many more moons do I even have? I'll do this last race and then probably end the episode. Because, um... We've been going a little while, and there's not a ton left to do in this kingdom, honestly. So I'm thinking I might just end the episode, do part of this kingdom, and then go to the next one as well. Where else are the moons? Where else could moons be? I need to be a caveman, that's still a thing. So, once I'm a caveman, don't do that. Don't do that, Mario. I need to get the rock. I know there's a rock here. I know there's a whole bonus section that I haven't done yet. Um, and I'm gonna just uh, restart. Because that was bad. Be back in a second. Well, I was slower, but you know what? It's fine, I still won, I still got the moon. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. Tell you what, if there's less than five, if there's less than ten moons left, I'll just do it this episode, but I'm pretty sure there's more than ten left, so. There's exactly ten left. And there's no hint art, so I'm gonna say that there's ten left, and we'll do it in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. What a loophole. Are you, am I right? What a loophole. Um, thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, we will finish up Cascade Kingdom, head off to the next kingdom, which I believe is Bowser's. And uh, it'll be a good time, so yeah, see ya then. Bye bye